Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Call of Duty Modern Warfare thumbnail. See you guys right after this. Yo, what is going on guys? Bring you guys a brand new video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Modern Warfare thumbnail. Very easy, very simple in Photoshop. So let's get right to it. So now I do have a pack I did download it off YouTube. You could download it off YouTube if you type in MW Photoshop pack. It should be one of the first ones there. You can find it, download it. And once you load it up, all you guys want to do is look for the spiky things on Google. It's PNG. And then, yeah, let's get right to it. So first, what you guys want to do is... So go in the pack that I told you guys to download, or you can get any background. Just look for a background that you guys will want to use for Call of Duty. So in this case, we're going to use this background. You know, it's one of the maps in MW. So let's drag it to our layer over here. And by the way, the thumbnail size is 720 by, no, it's 1280 by 720. My bad. So let's click edit, free transform. To, because the picture's obviously way too big. All right, let's drag it. It might load a little bit. It might it might give it a second because Photoshop sometimes does load when it's like a big, humongous picture or something. Because this is quite big, this picture. All right, so let's drag it over here to the top left. What you guys want to do is hold Shift on your keyboard once you line it up and drag it down so you don't miss click. Because if you don't hold Shift, then the layer is just going to be out of shape. So what you guys want to do is now, for on the layers on the right side, you guys want to right click and delete that. You guys don't need that. That's just a waste of a layer. All right, so what you guys want to do now is go to top on your Photoshop, click filter, click sharpen, and then click sharpen again. Now, once you click sharpen, it, should, it, should, it brings it out more once you click sharpen. But in this case, I'm going to make the photo a little bit bigger again because I see on the sides it looks like I can see a little bit of the, the white background. Click enter. So what you guys are gonna do now is go to image, go to adjustment, and go to brightness and contrast. Now what you guys wanna do is click brightness to 21. Now you could mess with contrast too. Yeah, you know what, you guys can mess with the contrast. I'm gonna put both of them 21, just copy the settings and click okay. So what you guys wanna do is now go to filter again, go to blur, just blur not blur gallery blur and go to Gaussian blur and what you guys want to do is copy the settings 4.0 I find that to be perfect for the background layer and hold up yeah uh, I guess that's part of the yeah that's part of the picture it looked like I was seeing the back a little bit all right let me just drag a little bit like that all right there we go the picture was bugging out a little bit I don't know why it was like that so what you guys want to do is now to click a new layer bottom right click on this right here where the mouse is and it makes a new layer click it what you guys want to do now is drag your spiky things over to your area and drop it and then line it up with the picture now it should fit perfect it should line up perfect and then you can you can exit the spiky things you won't need them no more and then what you guys want to do now is uh, you can get rid of this layer under here. I just like to make new layers just to see what I'm doing. So click on the spiky thing. Now you can double click it or you can right click on it and go to blend in options. Now what I like to do is put a gradient on it because see how white it is and just put a little gradient and it's like a little color and put it to 21. Now I have the regular gradient, you know, I have a bunch of gradients, but I'm using the regular one for this case, in this case, because I like the way it looks and click okay. See how it gives it a little darker on the bottom and then brighter up here. It makes it look more professional if you want to make it like the high end people make their Call of Duty thumbnails. Now what you can do is you can leave it like that or you can stretch it to make it bigger to like, you know, give it more of a, more like that, which I think that looks actually pretty cool. So we're going to leave it like that. So what you guys want to do now is go to your pack that I told you guys to download and you can click this. You don't need that no more. And go find the gun renders right here. And then in this case, we're going to use the MP5. Uh, let's click off the map real quick. MP5 looks pretty good. 
So we're gonna click that, hold it, drag it, and bring it to our, our area and drop it. Now we're gonna have to free transform it. So go to edit and free transform. Always go to free transform. It helps you, it just helps with everything. So click that, drag underneath. All right, now what you guys want to do is you guys can make it as big as you want or as small as you want, but I like to line it up. Let's see. Hmm. So I think that looks good right there. So we're going to click OK. But before we do that, we're going to we're going to click this little eye right here on the MP5. We're going to click that. And then under here, we're going to go to the background, click on the background. We're going to click new layer. And then what we're going to do now right here is we can either get a gradient. We'll try a gradient. So right here on the gradient on the left side, you pick a gradient, what color you like. And if this doesn't look too good, then we'll just use the brush what I have in plan. So just find a color that you like, you know, a gradient that's not too heavy, but that looks, you know, quite good. Any color. So let's go with a color that will look good. Let's go with, hmm, a lot of colors to pick from. Let's go with something that will match, something that will match, but it doesn't need to match. It's just the background color. So we're just going to go with a, we're going to go with a pink right here. Now we're gonna see how this looks. We're not saying we are gonna use this. Just drag it like that. And then what you guys wanna click is click overlay. Um, could click overlay, but it doesn't look too good as you see. So what you guys wanna do is go to opacity and bring it down. We'll see how it looks. Bring it down to 21 to see. So 21. Eh, looks all right. Uh, let's bring it back up to 51. See, it's heavier on the right side than the left. So actually, what we're going to do is just erase this layer and delete layer. So right click, click delete layer. And we're going to do what we had in plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the brush on the left layer. And then we, what are we going to do is we're going to just going to color it. Color in a little bit around it, like in the middle. All right. So that looks, that looks good right there. So what you guys want to do now is double click it or right click and click blending options and then go to color overlay. Now this will switch the color. Now you see how it switches the color. Now you can make it any color you want. In this case we're going to make it, I think a blue, a blue will look good. Let's try to find a bluish maybe or purplish. Yeah, blue maybe. Um, all right, let's click that for now. Let's see. And then what you guys want to do is click overlay or overlay actually doesn't work uh, opacity again and then bring it down to however you like it. So 21, 21 looks good right about there. And then that's it. Now what you want to do is go back to the MP5 and place it. Now for the MP5, click on MP5, click filter and click sharpen. It pops it out more. And then what you guys want to do is go to image adjustments, brightness, and contrast, and click brightness of 21. You could do contrast too, which I'll probably do 21 too, like I did earlier. Just copy the settings down, 21, 21. Click OK. Now we have the MP5. We have the background. We have the spikes. We have the little blue around it. Now what you guys want to do is double click it on the MP5, and then you can go to drop shadow. You could do drop shadow, but I'm probably not going to do drop shadow. Uh, what we're going to do is do outer glow. Just copy these settings right here because I think these look good. These settings, I already have them set. And then go to stroke and then add a white stroke. So go to color if it's not set on color and add a stroke of four. Four looks pretty good. And then let's see what gradient looks like. Yeah, no. Uh, just everything else you just want to leave so just outer glow and stroke and then click OK and then your mp5 should be set now what you guys want to do is uh, we could start doing the text now so let's make a new layer on top of the mp5 let's click the text the letter T and then let's bring it the text let's bring it to 72 and let's click that all right so in this case we're gonna put I would say best We'll do all caps, so make sure your caps are on. Best. Oh, it's not on. I thought it was. Best. MP5. And then we're going to take that and edit it. Free transform it. Just like that. We're going to make it bigger. 
I'm going to put it right there just for now. We're going to switch the text right now. I like to use Burbank for the Call of Duty thumbnails. That's what all the professionals use. So go to download Burbank. I'm not going to leave it in the description. You guys can just look it up on thefont.com. And then click that. Click the arrow on the left right here. So best MP5. And then what you guys want to do is duplicate this layer. So right click, duplicate layer, click OK. Drag it down. Try to line it up. It doesn't need to be perfect right now. Then click edit. So best MP5 class. Best MP5 class. I was going to do class setup, but class looks good just like that. So then what you guys want to do is hold shift on your keyboard with your mouse. Click on class and best MP5. And now go to, you can let go of shift, go to edit, free transform, and it will free transform both of them. Now just line it up wherever you guys want it. I like to tilt it a little bit best mp5 class let's keep it i'll say let's minimize it a little bit you could go all over the hand a little bit i mean i made it kind of too small i like to try to get it perfect but it doesn't need to be perfect to leave the tutorial huh it's glitching a little bit all right let's put that like why is it glitching a little bit all right, let's move it down. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So right there looks about good. Let's put it up a little bit more. All right, best MP5 class. Now, what you guys want to do is go back over here where these are both highlighted. Just click one. Doesn't matter. And then on class, you just want to just line it up in the middle. I was already lined up in the middle. I'm pretty sure. So, but like right there looks about good. Then what you guys want to do is click on one of them because we're going to copy the settings like on best mp5. So we're going to right click. What we're going to do is go to stroke and then we're going to go to color. We're going to click color and click gradient. Now I already have my font sent right here or not my font, my color selected. So select the color that you want and make sure it's set to outside. So the position, make sure it's set to outside, not inside or center, outside. Always on the outside. And then for the size, you want to do around eight looks good, I think, eight. Now some, some YouTubers or in some other pros like to do higher, like 11, but I think that's kind of really big and bold. It doesn't look like the pros, but some people's photoshops are a little bit different if you go watch some of the videos, because I was just checking out other videos just to see how like what size they did theirs, but I like to use eight. Eight seems perfect. All right, so then what you guys want to do is go to drop shadow. You guys can do drop shadow. Um, let me see. I'm not sure if these settings, my settings are set up a little bit like that. So let's go. Let's do 11 for that, for distance. And then we'll do 21 for spread. And then the size, we will do Seven. And then for opacity, we do 100. So just copy these settings right here. You could use a gradient, but I'm not. And then just click OK and do the same thing for the class part. The next text is click drop shadow. Drop shadow. Wait, did I? Is that the same settings? I'm not too sure. I'll have to go back and check in a second. Let's click stroke. Oh uh, yeah, it is the same settings. Now I like to switch the color. You could leave them the same color, or you could switch them the color. Like you could put, you see how it switches the color. You could put a different color. You know, some of them mess with the text a little bit. Like it might be too bright, or you could put blue. Like that blue looks pretty cool. But we're just gonna leave it in this case because it looks pretty cool as it is. I think. So then just click, let's check out Outer Glow. Yeah, Outer Glow doesn't do much. Just click OK. And so you guys have the text done. So the text looks great. We have the gun, we have the spikes, we have the background, we have the color in the background. So, so far, we're just about done. So what you guys wanna do now, go to the pack I told you guys to download. What you guys wanna do is close gun renders cause I left it open, close that. And then go to logos. Go to logos in the pack I told you guys to download and click. Hmm. You could put a logo in it. I'm looking for the tactical nuke logo. Pretty sure it's in here somewhere. 
forever closed. I think it might be in PNGs. Yeah, it is. So once you find the nuke, just drag it out, click it, drag it out, bring it to your area, and then voila, it should be right there. And now resize it. So go to edit, free transform. Now, like I said in the beginning, if you guys don't have the pack, I told you guys to download it in the beginning of the video. Uh, just type in Modern Warfare GFX pack Photoshop on YouTube. It should be one of the first videos there. There's like two of them. I have both of them. And I did I didn't make my own pack. It's not a Call of Duty pack, but I'm I might add more to it or release it. So what you guys want to do is just drag it right there. I think that looks good. Uh, you could put the tactical nuke under it, but I'm not in this case. I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, what we're going to do is double click or go to right click and click blended options. We're going to click drop shadow. I mean, and now nah, we're not going to click drop shadow. We're going to click outer glow. Copy the settings, the same settings as before. And then what you guys want to click is stroke and then click color and then leave it as white. Now you could... Um, what we're going to do is put the size down to 4. 4. Yeah, 4 looks good. So that, that size looks good. So 4. And then you could put a gradient, but I'm not. Um, we're going to try something here. We're going to go to image adjustments, brightness. We're going to see what we... Yeah, so we're going to make it brighter. We're going to put it to 21 because it is quite dark in tactical nuke. Um, I think we're going to put... Yeah, we're going to put the contrast to 100. It looks pretty good, I think. And so far, that's really about it for the Call of Duty thumbnails. How the pros make it. So what you guys want to do now? Um, you guys want to go to the pack. I told you guys to download. And look for CCS. Now, that's going to be that's going to be a light in resource. Now, we're going to click the top one here. So it brings it brighter. And then we're going to put our own light source on it. We're going to make our own. So we'll bring it back to your layer, bring it back to your layer and just drop it. Now it made it a lot brighter and it looks a lot better. So what you guys are gonna do now is hold shift, click on the first one, let go of shift, drag all the way down, hold shift, click on the last layer. And then what you guys are gonna do is let go of the shift, right click, and go to convert to smart object. So it brings it all into one piece. Now what you guys wanna do is you guys can go to filter and go to sharpen. We're gonna see how this looks. Let's see. Looks about good, yeah. Because sometimes when you click sharpen, uh, it doesn't look too good. But in this case, it looks pretty good to sharpen. And go to image, go to adjustments, brightness, and contrast, and click 21. And then for the contrast, click, let's see. See, it brings it like a different color a little bit. I don't know why. We're going to put 11. Or let's just see about it. Yeah, we're gonna put 21. Um, let's try 51. All right, so 51 looks good. All right, so 51. It switches the text color behind it a little bit, but that's all good. So in this case, now what you guys can do is you're basically all done. But I'm gonna show you guys what you can do. So you guys can go adjustments and go to hue. And then if you guys want, you guys get to switch the color if you guys don't like any of it. Just it switches the color basically. But in this case, we're just going to leave it. It looks fine. So that's how you make a Call of Duty Modern Warfare thumbnail, how the professionals make theirs. I'll be having more tutorials in the future. But that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.